one. It is Leslie at Red Digital. And Jace, Red Digital. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about, well, let's just be honest. When should you fire your marketing company? Yes, and that includes us. When should you fire us? We have been fired. Um, we are not a perfect marketing company. We are darn good, but we, we've been fired. Yep. Who brought their dog? We. It's so cute. It's a puggle thing. Oh, we got a dog in the office. We have a dog in the office. We're dog friendly and we're COVID friendly. I have my shot. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I got that shot. Yeah. When? So uh, last Friday. Did it get you sick? No, I'm stronger oh. than ever. Whoa. I what guess. Can I say? Okay, here we go. So, um, we are going to talk about what, what red flags, um, when you should fire your marketing company and not look back. Okay. Um, so we'll give you some ideas. We'll give you some pointers on, Hey, here's some red flags that you yep. have to be aware of. Number one, lack of communication. If it takes you more than I'm going to be generous, two phone calls or two emails, two texts to get a hold of your marketing company. Red flag. Yeah. Red flag. Um, if you can't get a hold of them, like I've, I've talked to some people, it takes two weeks for their marketing company to get back to them. That tells you immediately that your company is not on their mind. And if they're not communicating with you often, you should. And that goes along with, you should be getting communication from them weekly yep. on what's taking place because marketing is always changing. Ads are always changing. So you need to be communicating with your client. If they are not communicating, boom, that's a good sign that you're not getting the attention you deserve. Exactly. Now, if you're paying them 250 bucks, no, you don't deserve a communication. Yeah. Ugh. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. harsh you, truth. You have to pay for their time, and if you are one of those clinics that wants to try to get by spending a couple hundred bucks on your social media set. Then you're me. only gonna have to, you're gonna make a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, that's you're it. gonna make it, yeah, you're gonna lose. Actually, you're not even gonna make money, you're yeah. gonna lose money, okay? Number two, uh, number two. Um, that your point of contact is constantly changing. I'm seeing this even more with like those cheap $200, $500 marketing people that every couple of months or every month or two, their point of contact changes. Yeah. Like they either get fired or they quit. Like the turnover is crazy. Yeah. Um, it does happen. Marketing companies do have turnover or they might find that a different person is a better fit. That's mm -hmm. okay. Don't, don't jump ship all the time. But if I'm constantly, if you had somebody for, if you've had a company for six months and you've had four point of contacts, red yeah. flag. Yeah. yeah, red flag that once again, they don't know your business. They're not paying attention to your business and you need to look elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Number three. This one actually might shock Jay's, but if your marketing company doesn't tell you no once in a while, that's a red flag. <laughs> Cause I don't want a yes man. Yeah. I don't want someone that's going to be like, Oh, you want to run ads on Snapchat? Okay. Yeah. So they should say, actually, your demographic is 75 plus year people with Parkinson's and MS. They're not going to be on Snapchat. That money would be better allocated in newspaper or some sort of like senior event. Yeah. You know, like. That's a great point. Yeah. Like, I like that, actually. Yeah. yeah. You should hear no once in a while from your marketing team or even better. This is a better idea provide you with some value. Yeah. Okay. Um, another thing, results. Okay. You are paying a marketing company for actual results. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're getting results. Make sure your revenue and bottom line is increasing. Exactly. If it has not, if you've hired a company and if you've been with them six months and you look at your bottom line, you're like, I'm in the exact same place. And you don't have more leads, more foot traffic, red flag. Yep. Um, that should be immediate fire. So, Okay. I'm trying to think of one more. I just had one that just left my mind. Um, oh, big one. So I'm a big stickler on this one. So if your marketing company doesn't do what they're telling you to do, for example, what I used to do is when somebody would investigate our company and say, hey, we're looking to hire Red, I would always do an audit on their agency. I still do this. I look at their agency because if they're an agency that's saying, we get, we're going to do your SEO example. An agency calls you and says, we are good at SEO. We're going to do your SEO. And then all of a sudden I Google them and I find out that that agency 
gets 10 organic visitors a month. Their own website's not organic. They don't run ads. They don't run Facebook. I can't find them. Big red flag that they yeah. have no idea what they're doing. If they don't do it for themselves, I don't yeah. trust it. Like if their yeah. website is not secure, you're, I'm discrediting them. Yeah, it, immediately, immediately. If you go to the website of a marketing company and they're not secure, they, they're gone. Scam, scam, <laughs> scam, I'm sorry. Scam. Yeah. Yeah, just simple stuff. Um, if you go to look at the traffic, like on some of my sites, I get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 visitors a month. Mm -hmm. You can look at mine and I always compare it to other and it's like, who do you want to work on your business? Do you want Michael Jordan that's been there, done that? Or do you want the rookie that's never been tried, that hasn't done it, has an idea, he might have potential, so you just wait. Well, and I yes, always, I did compare myself to Mark, Michael Jordan. I was just about to call you out on that. <laughs> I did dunk on Shaq. I am the only six foot one guy to dunk on Shaq. And that's right. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, we are going to be unveiling our new marketing conference event coming up pretty here soon. Um, we're going to have a link in the bottom if you guys want to RSVP for the announcement of where, when, and who's going to be speaking. Perfect. And lastly, if you guys have a company and you want Leslie to take a look at your whole entire marketing um, to see if you're getting what you deserve, you're getting what you paid for, um, let us know. Go mm -hmm. on our website, book a consult, and we will, we're open book. We will tell you exactly what's going on. We'll look at your current ads and yeah. give you the. And we'll be team. honest. If we can't help you, we'll say no. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sweet. Keep marketing. Bye, guys. Peace. Okay. Last one. Which one? Um, we're going to talk about.